Pig farming has gradually risen to be one of the top agribusiness ventures in Kenya. Domesticated pigs known as swines reproduce twice a year with a gestation period of 114 days. To succeed in pig farming business, farmers should buy their initial stock from trusted sources and do extensive research on the breed to avoid any losses. On today's episode of Smart Pigs, we travel to Nakuru County. At the outskirts of this county, we visit a farm that belongs to Mrs. Gitonga, a teacher by profession, until she decided to resign to help her husband in this farming venture. She started out with dairy farming and later switched to pig farming. Uh, we had just a few cows, about two, three. So we decided to to add more so I could get enough work. And then we started the military 89 pig unit. By then, we started with a few. And then we started with a brock. Behind the middle is brock, which is double. And then later, we had brock B on this side. And then the last one, we completed with the brock C. So we have been having the pigs from then, ups and downs, but we managed to go through. We started, we had a contract with the farmer's choice uh, by then. So we had to take quite a number of pigs. So we used to take yearly, and they, are, they had the, the number we are supposed to take to them. It was challenging because sometimes when there are no tourists, Sometimes they used to go back. By then, most of the people are not used to feeding or to eating pigs. So there was a problem because farmers' choice are the only people who are taking them. So we had a problem sometimes. So we would stop breeding for a time, but not to complete it. At least we would remain with a few, which would resume 10 of the breeding. So up to that time, in fact, we have been doing it up to date. Although I lost my husband 2015, still we have my son who is also an agriculturalist and had taken the same career in farming. So immediately, he's, he, he, they have been leading all of them because they have been trained from home. They have been supporting me. So we decided to carry on with uh, my husband's work, whom I'm sure he was so much interested. He became sick and he was, wherever he was being treated in uh, India, he used to say, call, call, keep on calling, asking about how we are moving. And I'm sure because of that, when he left us, we had to meet and we decided to continue with that work. We even increased because also himself he was growing old. They, my, my children are young and they, are, they have that knowledge. So that's why up to date, we have increased the number. In Kenya, there are several pig breeds familiar to farmers and are profitable in this particular venture. Pig farmers should select pig breeds according to their preference, although there are common factors that one should always look out for. These include a bright pair of eyes, glossy coat, alert and responsive to its surrounding environment, good temperament, good appeal to food, easy and normal movement, free from limbness or any other unnatural signs. Farmers are advised to avoid purchasing aggressive pigs and ask the producer about the health information, production history and other records. We used to have mostly uh, large white and uh, ladres before, and then we used to crossbreed. But uh, right now, 
There was a time I didn't have some boas and then I asked from farmer's choice. Two boas, and those boas are the ones who have changed my breeding because I can find their black ones. Some they say, there was somebody, my son also had some pigs and said he had bought a dewlock. So we also brought one. So now we have, we may have dewlock, we have rad this, we have rad white. Some they call a dewlock. So most of the times dewlocks look like this one. But the black one completely, maybe it is because of the interbreeding, the light white dewlock. The number of pigs in a farm depends on the size of the pig sty constructed. Large and spacious styes can hold a large number of pigs. At Mrs. Gitonga's farm, her pig styes have 700 pigs, of which 30 are sows. Feeding is a crucial aspect in pig production. Pig farmers should ensure their animals eat properly with correct ratios and amounts. Pigs have a high feed conversion efficiency and produce more live weight gain from a given weight of feed than any other class of meat producing animal. Using foodstuffs like grain, forages and pellets turn them into valuable nutritious meat. Feeding your pig on damaged grains and other leftover farm produce reduces the cost of buying commercial feed significantly. Since Mrs. Gitonga started a pig farming venture, she buys raw materials such as sifted grains and other raw materials from middlemen, which she makes her own feeds for her pigs. When we started, we started buying the ready-made, but these were also being made by some personal people and sometimes they may not get the right, the right uh, nutrients for the, the pigs and also for the, 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 the cows. So we decided to be making ours. We had a mixer, but later we started and then we stopped. Because of the, the pigs we had and the animals we wanted to keep, we were mixing. So we get the raw material, we mix, and we also get the, the formula from some of the, the, the people who have that knowledge. So that is what we do, and then we found it is not very expensive when you do that. Rather than going to buy some bags which we are not sure whether they have done or they have mixed the right, the, the right material. This is the feeding trough, and my pigs feed from nipples on that side. They don't, they get water direct from the nipples unless we don't have water, we put them. We have also a trough for the water on that side. And then you, why you see this one is clean, they are trained to go behind. So that's why this one are well trained, but there are some that are a bit dirty, mostly mothers, sours. Did you know that you can feed milk to pigs? Milk fed to pigs is known as whey. This is left over from dairy milk that has fermented. Feeding whey to pigs helps in making the meat more tender, fattens the animal quickly, and provides a good source of proteins and vitamins at a low cost. This is called the whey, which we correct from one of the processors called the happy cow. This is maybe a byproduct from cheese making. So we usually bring it for pigs. And uh, I'm sure when we have been getting enough, it is very nutritious for the pigs. A lot of protein. Pigs naturally have a high feeding conversion rate that helps them in producing more live weight gain from the feeds. Interesting fact is that pigs are second to broiler chicken, which also grows at a faster rate, unlike other animals, whereby in just eight or nine months, your piglets will reach maturity and can be sold. We're taking a short break, but don't touch that dial. We will be back with more from Mrs. Gitonga's farm on Smart Pigs.